Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakat Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. The apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And all the sincere Ikeum that's throughout the four winds of the world that's prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you, I say Shalom. Because the title of this lesson is this is the only work you'll get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right. And this work that I'm referring to is this work of doing the will of Yahweh by Shia Shai. All right. Pushing this word, pushing this doctrine. All right. Delivering this truth unto the elect. Waking up the elect. It's a work. It's a duty. All right. It, it, it's a, uh, a task that you have been chosen to do. Lord willing, you're, um, excuse me, you've been called to do. Lord willing, you're chosen of that chosen number of the, of the elect, okay? Because if you look at, at the world that we live in, everything that we put your heart into, your 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 uh, all your might into, 100% effort into, you never get to really enjoy it, all right? Say you build a house, all right? You build a house with your bare hands, but you do you really get to truly enjoy it? Because you got to go out there and bust your ass and, and, and work for Esau, all right, to, to maintain it, to keep it, all right, to pay the property tax. All right, say you save up for a car, all right, and you buy this car that you've been waiting, you know, you've been, you know, dying to get, you don't get to enjoy it because you still got to go out there and bust your ass and work to keep it, to maintain it. All right, this work that the prophets, that the elect is working for is the kingdom of heaven, where once we receive it, no one can never take it from us. All right, no one can say, you know, well, you didn't work hard enough, uh, you got to work some more. Hey, once we once the elect receives the kingdom, that's it. All right, it, we we have it forever. Okay, and, uh, and 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 forever is literally forever. All right, we're never going to fall as a nation anymore. We're never going to have the curses up under uh, over us anymore. All right, we're we're going to be a nation of kings and priests. But to get there, you got to work. To get that that uh that 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 ultimate peace of mind, you got to work for it. All right, the Most High is not handing the kingdom over to any uh. You know, anyone that says for, for, for proclaims that they're Israelite and they believe in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you got to work for it. You have to show your works by your faith. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures. The first scripture I want to grab is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, and I said, Q few verse. I'm going to start at 10 and I'm going to jump down to 18. The 10th verse reads, And whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withered not my heart from any joy. For, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. So this is uh, the um, King Solomon speaking about, you know, whatever he saw, he desired, whatever he saw, he, he, whatever he wanted, he basically got. Okay. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I have labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit, no profit under the sun. So the, the our, um, King Solomon saw all that he had did, all the works that he had did, and it still said it was all vanity and vexation. Okay, there was no profit. It, it profited him nothing. Okay, because what was going to say in the 18th verse, let me jump down. Yea, I hated all my labor which I have taken under the sun, because I should have, I should leave it unto a man that shall be after me. So, all these things that you work for in this life, you're just, if it's not the kingdom of heaven, if it's not to receive salvation, you're just leaving it to the next person to, uh, to, to to take. All right. That house that you're working for, you're just leaving it, you know, to someone else. OK, you can leave it to your kids. But the, the, that's really, you know, uh, your kids are under that same curse that you are. All right. Where they have to work and slave and labor to maintain that house, to keep that house, to pay the property tax. All right. So this is clearly not a, a place of our rest. All right, I'm going to get that on the next scripture. This is not the place for us to just kick back and think we made it. All right, we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. We can enjoy uh, uh, um, our retirement. All right, because the majority of Jake's can't even retire now. And when Jake does retire, it's too damn old to enjoy it. You, 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 you're crippled. You got, you know, you got, uh, you're, you're on diet. You're, you're, uh, you're diabetic. You got to go to die, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, dialysis. You, 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 you all fucked up. So you really never get to enjoy it. You can't, you know, you can't do the things that you did in your youth. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to get those things, all right? And we're going to have them in abundance, 
all right? But you have to work for it. You have to, you have to strive for the kingdom. You have to push for the kingdom, or you have to want the kingdom, all right? Verse 19, and who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool, yet shall he rule over all my labor wherein I have labored, and wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun. So this is vanity. So he's saying, basically, everything that I've done, I don't know if, 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 if I want to pass it down to a wise man or a fool. All right. And if that wise, if, if it's the wise man, he's going to maintain it and keep it. But if it's going, if it's a fool that has no understanding, all right, they're going to just trample over. This is not going to, they're not going to uh, um, regard it, uh, um, highly regarded as you. Okay. Let me jump to uh, Micah chapter two and verse ten. This is uh, Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart for. This is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. This is not our rest. This ain't time for us to kick up, kick our feet back and, and enjoy life and enjoy everything that's going on. We can't even enjoy our children, our grandchildren. OK, because you, you got wickedness all around you. How can you kick back and relax when you got this devil trying to kill you any chance that they get? Whether it be the J.A.B., whether it be the pharmaceuticals whether it be the food, all right, whether it be the air, the water, the devil is trying to kill you, but you Jakes want to sit back and relax, all right, and, 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 and enjoy, you know, your retirement or enjoy, um, you know, uh, 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 this, this house you paid off. Say Jake pays off his house. You still got to come up with the property tax. That's how Esau got you niggas in the trick bag and you can't even see it, all right? Hey, say you pay off a car. You got a few cars. You still got to pay insurance. You still have to pay registration. OK, Esau always has a trick to keep you under that uh, under his foot. OK, but to work for the kingdom of heaven, hey, we'll, we'll never have to do anything. We'll never have to lift a finger if you don't want to. All right. And no one can take no one, no army, no person, no man is going to rise up against the nation of Israel in the kingdom of heaven ever. OK, that's what we're working for. That's why that that's the, the fruits of our labor. All right. Doing this work, you know, suffering for your Howard Shai's sake. Suffering for the doctrine, okay? Taking the low, taking the L sometimes, all right? Uh, uh, enduring persecution, all right? When persecution comes, hey, take it head on, all right? We know that the prophets of old were put to death, and if if, if you, if we're, we're proclaiming to be those prophets, we know we got to go through it too, all right? Um, next verse I want to get is the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 6, and I want to start at verse 9. Uh, 19 is like you. It says, lay not up your treasure, excuse me, lay up, lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and wherein thieves break through and steal. All right, so you didn't, you, you didn't done all this labor and got all these so-called riches in this world and niggas just come and steal them and rob you, all right, and, and take it, all right, to take or burn down your house or, or, or take your possession, okay? It says, lay your treasures uh, not upon earth, all right? But it says, verse 20, but lay up your treasures, excuse me, lay up your, yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, but where, but, and where thieves, thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So where your treasure is, that's where your heart, your mind is going to be, all right? Lay your treasures up in heaven, your good works, your good deeds, your faith, your, your, your showing Yahweh should know shy that you have faith in believing in him. All right? Doing this work. Okay? You know, putting up lessons, doing videos, doing good deeds, helping the prophets any way you can. Any way you can help the ministry of Yahweh should know shy, do it. All right? That that, that that would be considered a righteous work on the eyes of Yahweh should know shy. That's laying up your treasures in heaven. All right? Because when you lay them up in, when you lay them up in heaven, ain't no nigga, ain't no nigga or no, no Edomite go rob the most high. All right? Can, 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 could take those blessings away from you for those deeds, for those for those good works that you've done. All right, I got a few more scriptures. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 12. Excuse me, 14. For we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. This is a, we have no continuing city here in America, anywhere in Europe, South America, Central America, anywhere you Israelites dwell, anywhere their leg dwells, all right, we have no continuing city. All right, we're not looking for to build up America or build up the society that we're living in and, and, and make it 
and, and live that American dream. We're not looking for that. All right. We're looking, we're seeking the kingdom of heaven. We're seeking that, that righteous rulership. All right. We're seeking, uh, um, um, yeah, righteous rulership. All right. Where, where, uh, where righteousness is going to dwell forever. All right. Where, where, where we don't have to worry about anything. The scriptures say that the most high is going to wipe away uh, our tears. All right. We're not going to have the curses on us anymore. All right. We're not going to have to want for anything in the kingdom of heaven. All right. But that's a, hey, you got to do this work. All right. You have to be diligent in your, in your studies. You have to, you know, uh, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. All right. Show your works. So, excuse me. Show your faith by your works. All right. I got one last scripture I want to hit. Matthew 11 and verse 28. It reads, but I say unto you, uh, but I say unto you that it shall be uh, actually Matthew. Uh, let me see what was it? Twelve. It's like that's the wrong verse. Uh, I just quoted it. Real quick. Matthew 11 and 28. 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. These are the words of Yahweh Shah. All right. The Lord is our Lord is going to give us rest. All right. And it's come unto me, all ye that labor. Who are the laborers? The prophets, the men of the Lord. All right. The 144,000, the governing body. Okay. And the and one and the one third. Okay. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. All right. The Lord is going to ultimately give us rest. This ain't our time of rest. This is time. This is the time to work. This is the time to get out there and show your faith by your works. To be diligent. All right. Looking for seeking and hastening unto the day of Yahweh Shinnah Shah. Not taking no days off. Standing in the spirit. Okay. Doing those things necessary to receive salvation. Okay. Because this is the only work. All right. Where you're gonna get. You're gonna be able to sit back and enjoy it all right embrace it okay and and and, and, and you know she really just, just just real really live life okay because we're not this ain't living we're working a nine to five having to work overtime and you know jake working multiple jobs you know your car breaking down jake deal with all types of shit that ain't real living that ain't really enjoying the fruits of your labor that's being a damn slave okay all right so no within this lesson was edifying until the elect and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and citations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.